there's some kind of cloud. People don't understand really the bone of contention between the Senate and the National Assembly. And you can also see that, on the other hand, the county government are being blamed, the governors, for lack of development, that they're not doing anything. The development which is available is only done by members of parliament. See members of parliament constructing roads, members of parliament constructing health centers, schools and so on. Because the funds which are supposed to go to the counties for those purposes are being held by the, the national government in what they call national government constituency fund. And even this road levy fund is going to members of parliament. This is not the work of MPs, this is the work of counties. Today, the bulk of the revenue that goes to counties goes for purely recurrent expenditure. Nearly 70% of the revenue going to counties is only for recurrent expenditure, paying salaries to workers and so on. Only 30% remain for development, which is very uh, inadequate indeed. But because the bulk of which will be going there is going into these other funds which are under control of members of parliament. So if that were to change, then the equation would change. Nearly 50% of revenue going to the counties would be for development projects. And, and the, the counties are the ones which are actually best suited to do the uh, development. And then you have got the county assemblies to oversight. Members of parliament are supposed to oversight the national government. You see? They're supposed to represent their constituencies, constituents, two, they're supposed to uh, legislate, and three, they're supposed to oversight the government. But they themselves are now being involved in the execution of projects at the constituency level. In fact, there's very little work being done in the National Assembly. The Assembly is most of the time empty. There are no debates taking place in that parliament uh, the way it used to be when we were members of parliament those days. Parliament is no longer doing its work as a National Assembly. Uh, this is why we are really calling them to uh, account. You have said the fuel levy fund is supposed to be used for maintenance of roads at the national level and at the, the county level. So that should go directly to the kitty of the county government, not constituency fund being controlled by members of parliament. That's what I'm saying. It, it, it is, the members of parliament are not supposed to be executing things. The members of parliament are supposed to be oversighting. But if an MP himself is, 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 is the executor, you have a situation where MPs themselves are the contractors. I know examples where you find a president going to launch a road, the contractor is a member of parliament. Eh? So if that's not a conflict of interest, I don't know what conflict of interest is. It is embarrassing, embarrassing indeed.